Hey. Hey. How are you doing? Hey, Jim. Hello. <clears throat> doing good. How about yourself? Well, I'm hanging in there. Hanging in you. there. So, see, so you've uh, been put, posting some stuff on Shibboleth. Yeah, a little bit. Good, good, good. Well, normally I've been doing these as webinars, but I thought, you know, we can't kind of talk when we have webinars. So I'm going to, I set these up as meetings. So we'll see how this goes. If it, okay. if, I, if it gets too out of control, we may have to mute everybody. But we'll see. <laughs> I don't know how many people will come over from Shibboleth, um, from the other, other groups there. Oh, I'm not online. There I am. Let's see. Oops. Let me turn that on. There I am. There you are. There I be. Oh. I get that pillow out of the way. This is a horrible <laughs> chair. I got to get a better chair. So. Get the kinks worked out. Yeah, my bag. It just it's a deep chair. I've learned that there's another type of chair called a task chair. There are a lot. Um, there's not a lot of room. Yeah. So they, they're not deep and the, the handles are shorter and they call it a task chair. And our secretary at the church has one. I tried hers out the other day when she was gone. I was like, oh, okay, I like this. So I might have to, but you know, they're about hundred bucks or 150. I'm like, yeah, I think I can wait on that one for a little bit. So maybe Jim can sell us one there. Oh, well, you don't sell task chairs. You sell me a chainsaw, right, Jim? Oh, Home Depot sells everything. They sell yeah. those chairs. Are you at Home Depot? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they have task chairs or not. They do, not, not in stock, but they have them to where you can you can buy them online. <laughs> well, you can get everything there. Yeah, I guess so. I didn't know that. Well, hi, puppy. <laughs> Looks like my uh, dog I had many years ago. Uh, so that's Toby. Toby, all right, Toby. Very spoiled. <laughs> oh yes, I've got two of them. Some one of them usually stays in here with me, but he's not in here tonight. So um, he always has to start finding something to bark at. Uh, about the time I'm starting to do something like this, so. Have you had, uh, you've done this class a couple times already this week, haven't you? Well, it's been a different class each night, so that's making it a challenge. So Monday night was on deli meats at Kroger. Oh, I didn't know it was every night. Yeah, it's Monday night, Tuesday night, and Thursday night. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm doing the prayer corner at 10, Monday through Friday. Yeah, and I can't get that through my mind that it's at nine o'clock my time. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, and then I'm doing this on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So this week, no, I'm sorry. This week is Walmart week. So Monday night was category one or lean protein deli meats. And then Tuesday night, what did I talk about Tuesday night? Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what, I'm getting old. Uh, I talked about something on Tuesday night. Oh, it was uh, oatmeal. So mm. it was all about oatmeal on Tuesday nights. And I don't think those are up on the website yet. We're still kind of getting um, the kind of, we got my tab up there with my classes, but the developers behind on getting my uh, little bio and blah, 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 blah. So, um, and then tonight, did you have, any, did you have a good turnout or do what? Did you have a good turnout on those or? Uh, the first one I did on Monday, Travis sent out a text and I had 60 people. Oh, wow. I had 40 show up. Um, then Tuesday night, we didn't get the text out and I had one person uh, show up. <laughs> that was a little, so, but whatever. So I don't know what to expect tonight. We, we finally got on the website. I put a thing on Facebook. In fact, I'm going to post it now to Facebook. Ooh, I need to do something real quickly. I'll hang on just a second. Um, so um, anyways, it should be on Facebook. Um, so I don't know what'll happen tonight. Hi, Pam. Hello, Pam. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good, good. Okay. I, had a, I had a thought about six o'clock. I was going to get some dinner and because uh, my wife wanted fajitas and I had been wanting them too. So I went and got some fajitas and brought them home. Anyways, I was thinking at six, I was like, oh, I never really took this class off the Achieve site. And I hope nobody's on the Achieve website wanting to watch the class. And, um, but I don't think anybody did. I didn't get any notes. So, 
Nobody you see said, Randy floating you? above me like the Cheshire cat? Do I what? His head keeps disappearing. I said, Randy's floating above. Oh, my. Yeah. Cheshire hey, cat. Randy. He's floating in there. Yeah, he's he's doing, doing, he's fading yeah, out. In a while. Good to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. He's in heaven. Yeah. yeah there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Anita. Hello. The weather here was very heavenly today. What was? The weather. Oh, okay. Tell us what it's like in Florida yeah. right now. Well, right now it's like maybe 65. It's very clear, but starting to get chilly. Uh, today got up to <laughs> 75 and it was just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> well, I think it was almost 50 here. So. Oh, wow. Maybe it's good though for 50. Right? Yeah. Huh? February in Indy? Yeah, it wasn't bad. All the snow's almost gone. Thank goodness. Yeah, I yeah. noticed that in my front yard. Yeah, it's about I gone. I can see it on our camera. So, Emily, what's it like in Hawaii? It's 80 degrees here, and it's raining <laughs> with the sun out. I don't know what's going on out there. <laughs> climate change. Weather's confused. I'm teasing. All those rainbows. Okay, we got the rainbows. Hey, we got some new folks joining us tonight. Jennifer, tell me all where you're all from. You're welcome to chat, or you, if you want to join the mic, probably mute everybody a little bit once we get going here. But uh, I'm doing this slightly different uh, meeting format. I'm Anita Borders, and I'm from Hiram, Georgia. All right, Hiram, Georgia. All right. And we got Beth here. Beth just said the chat. So Beth, good to have you. Beth's in Indiana. Hey, everybody. Hello, Jennifer. All right. Hey, Anita. Welcome. So where are you from, Anita? Where, where are we? We got Georgia, Hawaii, Florida. Hiram. Hiram, Hiram Georgia. Hiram. Okay. Hiram, Georgia. So we got Georgia, Hawaii, Indiana, Alabama. 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 All right, we'll see if we get a few more folks here to join us tonight, and then we'll get rocking and rolling here in a second. So, all right. Music. All right, and if I do mute anybody while we're going, don't get upset. I'm not mad at you. You can always unmute if you have a question, but uh, once we kind of get into the, the grocery store tour thing. Um, so I will introduce myself to you all here tonight in just a second. Let me do something real quickly and um, we will get rolling here. And um, so we'll get started here. So let me get, I tell people doing Zoom and trying to do multiple things at once is like flying a 747. But once you get the thing off the ground, and we may have some other folks joining yes. us over here online. If I'm looking off to the side, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just watching my other monitor just to see if we have anybody chatting in on Facebook. And so let me just take a look over there and we will get rocking and rolling here. And I'm going to try and get you out here in 30, 45 minutes. So we won't be long. And let me just check here so I can just watch in case anybody has any uh, questions tonight. Okay, good. Well, so for those who don't know me, I know several in here knew, but some of y'all don't. Uh, my name is uh, Jim Wright, and I am the newest member of the Shibola team. I will uh, put that slide up. I think I was on the ideal weight this week. So that was me uh, many years ago. I lost 35 pounds 10 years ago. So I have kept my weight off for a decade now. And so I live a weight loss lifestyle. There's a picture of me taking a couple weeks ago. And real quickly while we're here, if you want to get notifications, so I'm going to be doing grocery store tour Monday night, Tuesday night, and Thursday night at 730. And I'm doing like this week was all Walmart. So Monday night we did deli meats, cat ones, Tuesday nights we did just oatmeal. Tonight we're going to be focusing on nuts, uh, particularly peanuts and peanut butters that you can find at Walmart. And next week we're at Kroger. Uh, I'd have to look on my list, but each night it's a different topic at Kroger. So if you kind of want a deep dive into a food category and at a grocery store, that's what I'm doing. Now, if you want a, a, a bigger 
expanse of grocery thing, you can go, uh, if you're a silver member and go to Jason's Corner, uh, click on the videos there and in Jason's Corner, I'll show you all where that's out real quickly. Um, you can go there in Jason's Corner. Let me see if I can find it real quickly. Um, I'm over here. But if you go to videos and print material, uh, you should be able to find it there if I'm thinking right. It's either there or online webinars. So uh, there you go. If you go to silver and on video library and printable materials, if you want bigger grocery stores, you might check out Jason's Corner and you can look at all those. And Jason's got a lot of grocery store tours in there where he's taking maybe bigger swaths uh, food categories, but I'm going to be focusing mainly on like one small area and helping you build your grocery database and you, things that you can eat. So this week's Walmart. Uh, who all shops at Walmart? Raise your hand or put in the chat. All right, all Walmart shoppers. How many shopped at Walmart today? I did. Okay, I've already been at Walmart today. Jim raised his hand. All right, yeah, so I was at, at Walmart today and didn't find uh, one bread product. They uh, just FYI, they don't have a lot of slim buns, slim witch buns. I've noticed at Walmart's and the ones that I've always seen are the wrong ones. So, all right, Valerie says my husband was at Walmart day. All right, we'll give you that. We'll give you half credit for that one, Valerie. So um, good. And we got some more folks joining us, great. So tonight we're gonna be focusing on Walmart. If you have any questions, like I said, uh, just feel free to put something in the chat window and uh, ask that question or unmute your mic, but we'll probably mute it while we go. So, uh, so tonight we're gonna look at peanut butter uh, and peanuts. Now on Shibboleth, I know I've got a lot of folks here who are pretty new to Shibboleth. So peanut butter, peanuts are what we call category six superfood. So let me just tell you real quickly about superfoods before we jump into these. Uh, superfoods contain all the macronutrients in good ratio. So I'm just gonna ask y'all a question, okay? I'm gonna see how well things stick. Can anybody, you might have to be quick on the chat trigger or unmute your mic. Can anybody give me some macronutrients? There, we, we, we say there are four in Shibboleth. Does anybody, can anybody give me a macronutrient? Fat. Fat, yes, fat is a macronutrient, all right. Anybody else have one? You can only Carbs. have one answer. So if you've given one, then add somebody else. All right, Anita. Carbs. Uh, Beth said carbs. Anita said protein. And there's one more in Shibboleth we call a macronutrient, and that is water. So, you know, you can't live without water. So we, we just let, we put that in the macronutrient camp because you, you got to have water, right? How y'all doing on your water? Y'all doing okay? Chugging it down, I hope. All right, there you go. See, we're all gonna drink. Well, I'll drink to that. Okay, drink water to that. Okay, water, it's water. <laughs> but anyways, um, good. So we got protein, fat, carbohydrates, and water are our macronutrients. And so these superfoods really contain macronutrients in um, all good ratios. So they have good ratios of fat, protein, carbs, uh, in there. And a lot of their carbs are in the form of fiber. Now we're going to talk about peanuts. This is going to be kind of fun here in a minute. Nuts are a category six. Most people think that peanuts are nuts, but y'all know they're not. But before we do, uh, nuts, if you're going to have nuts, you can use them as a meal, a snack, or condiment. Uh, you can have two handfuls of nuts as a meal. If you want, now there is an, uh, a pistachio nut that you can actually have up to three handfuls if it's in the uh, shell. Um, so you can have one handful as a snack. If you want to use it as a condiment, about one tablespoon, uh, you could use nuts that way. But tonight we're gonna to talk about peanuts. All right, everybody, anybody here not like peanuts? I shouldn't do that, I'm gonna ask. Anybody not like peanuts? Everybody's got to like peanuts, right? Okay, good. My wife loves peanuts. So, so we're going to talk about peanuts for just a second. We're going to take a look at them at Walmart here tonight. Uh, actually, they're not technically a nut. I remember years ago, I was doing an online weight loss class. This was, uh, uh, I wasn't with Shibola at the time, and I was doing a class, and I saw about peanuts, and I had somebody say, well, you know, peanuts aren't a nut. So, all right. 
and they're not. Peanuts are technically, botanically, not a nut. I bet y'all didn't know that. Ask somebody, you know, did you know, do you, are peanuts a nut or not? And they say, yes, they're a nut. And you say, nope, they're wrong. Uh, peanuts are actually a legume, uh, which a legume is the seed of a plant. Uh, for example, beans, peas, lentils are legumes and peanuts are legumes. Um, now, uh, legumes are a great source of plant-based protein. And in fact, you might find this interesting if you go to Google and do like English to French, if you type in English, the word vegetable, the word legume will come up on the French translation. So there you go. You learned a little French tonight uh, on that tonight. So just wanted to give that to you a little bit. Uh, peanuts are kind of weird though, because most legumes uh, form above ground, peanuts form underground. And I know Norma knows that in Alabama, right? Because peanuts, Alabama, big time peanuts. Y'all have bow weevil problems, right? I think, was that the, is that the animal down there or the something, something I can't remember. I used to live in Alabama, but I forget. I just know like in down in Enterprise, Indiana, I mean, India, Alabama is huge peanut country down there. And uh, I knew some folks that did that. So, but they are part of the bean and pea family, but they are weird because they actually develop underground, which is kind of different than most legumes. Uh, again, two handfuls as a meal, uh, uh, shelled peanuts. Uh, you know, if you want to eat unshelled peanuts, you can have three handfuls. I, don't, I guess it's a boiled peanut there, um, or a handful could be a snack, unshelled, uh, one and a half handfuls, and again, a condiment there. So tonight we're gonna look at peanuts, but one thing I want you to know, we're gonna take a look at the food library because the food library here on Shibboleth is the final say on everything. So if I say something tonight that doesn't square with the food library, then feel free to call me out. I try not to let that happen. But the, the food library is the say right now, uh, what we have on Shibboleth. So uh, that is what we go to first. And I put here on the fast track lap four, if you've not done fast track, you really wanna do lap four because I'm gonna show you some things in the food library tonight that, uh, that Kim covers in lap four as well. So I wanna show you a couple things tonight that you might find beneficial. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go out to the food library as our jumping off point, and then we're gonna head over to Walmart. So here we are in the food library. I'm gonna type in peanuts first. So the food library is right here under the resource and foods tab. So I'm gonna type in peanuts. Now, let's take a look right here as peanuts all by themselves. And you're gonna notice they are a negative one. Now, does anybody know the lowest you can go, the fastest fat burn number you can get? I think uh, said, uh, Norma said something, but I didn't hear. Minus three. Minus three, yes, Norma, you got it, minus three. It, if you see something as a minus three on the, uh, on the um, Food library, I mean, that's a smoking hot fat burner right there. So you'll know peanuts are not like a negative three. They are a negative one. So you say, well, Jim, is there any negative uh, threes in the peanuts? Well, let's look at all these things. Boiled peanuts, negative one. Nope, uh, this is peanut butter. We'll come back to that. This is a protein bar. Uh, these flavored, negative ones. Lilies, no sugar added. Nope, negative one, negative one. None of these are negative. All these are negative ones. Just to be sure, I'll, I'll slide the meter down here just to show me negative threes and let's just see if anything shows up. There is nothing on peanuts in a negative three. There's nothing on a negative two. So peanuts are a negative one. They're still great. You can still eat them. If you're in weight loss mode, is zero to a negative three is fine. That, that's great. The lower you can go, the better. So you can still eat these on weight loss. Again, one handful as a snack, two as a meal. So again, take a look at these. Now, one thing I want to show you, if you're not too familiar with the food library, some of y'all may be, but just show you right here is recipes that have peanuts in them. And then you can click where to buy. So obviously we can buy them at Walmart tonight. So we could always type that in. I'll just do that while I'm here. And I'm gonna put Walmart because obviously you can get peanuts at Walmart. 
So there you go. So if you find, if you go to Kroger or Buy Low or Food Line or whatever, and you find them, uh, which I would think you would, just go ahead and check them in there. So that's a good thing. Um, so if you like peanuts, you can favorite them as well. So just kind of want to start off. So let's go over to Walmart and let's just for a second, we're going to take a look at peanuts and uh, take a look and see what they have at Walmart in terms of peanuts. So right here, any peanut, basically going back to the library, all right, uh, we're just, if they're straight peanuts, they're good. So dry roasted is fine, lightly salted, dry roasted. So plenty of peanuts at Walmart that you can get right there and add that as well, okay? You could also do mixed nuts, okay? Nuts are a superfood. So we've got all sorts. Now, if, again, if you have a sodium restriction, uh, your doctor has you on a sodium restriction, then obviously you wanna avoid things that have a lot of salt, but there are low sodium versions. But let's see on the food library if we've got some other options here for peanuts. And we've got planters flavored peanuts, all right? So let's go out here to the to Walmart real quickly, and let's just see if we if we can see. I'm going to type in planters, peanuts, and let's just see if we have any flavored peanuts out here as well. And I'm going to put type in the word flavored just so we can see. We're doing our vir virtual tour, which I have to say I kind of enjoy virtual tour. Does anybody in here watching tonight? Because I've got some old friends watching me tonight. Have any of y'all been on, did anybody here tonight been on an actual live tour with me? Yes, Beth, I have. Beth was. I think Jim Jim was on one if he's still here. Yes, I have. Yeah, okay. So I've got a few folks from Indiana that's been on actual live tours with me. Uh, I have to admit, it's kind of nice being virtual because I can sit here and my feet <laughs> don't hurt. So sometimes after doing one of those tours, man, my feet were, especially when I was doing like two or three back to back. Um, but right here, let's type in, oh, I don't think I hit the save. So let's see if they got anything over there. Uh, planters flavored. So again, let's check the video library because that's always our thing. So it says flavored is fine, peanuts. And so we take out here and you can see that they have flavored peanuts here at Walmart. So there's some ideas. Let's go back to the video library and see what other so Jim, just yeah, real huh? quick, honey roasted is okay. Yeah, we we allowed the we really you know watch the sugar. Let's just take a look at this. Um, the website doesn't say that we can't do honey roasted. So if you have a question, always check. But generally, again, if it's got more than five grams of sugar, we're like no way. So I think these are all okay, Beth, as long as they're five grams or less of sugar. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I like them. I just don't ever eat them because I figured they had too much. Right. And what I would argue and suggest is while you're in weight loss mode, you try to avoid those. I okay. would definitely avoid, I would stick with the plain or the salt, if you're, you know, salt or dry roasted or whatever, or unsalted. I would do that if I was in weight loss mode. I, I again, but the food library does not say you can't do that. So... Uh, I would go with what the food library says. It said planters were fine. So, Jim, is smoke is smoked okay? Yeah, smoke should be fine. Don't okay. see a reason why that'd be a problem at all. Um, out there, another one that's listed on the website. I won't run back there because I know it's there. Are Lance peanuts? And Lance, I cannot type. Lance peanuts also have flavored. So here's a hot and spicy would work. So we don't, we have some hot and spices. Now, again, we might have, uh, see all 1,102. No, I don't think so. Um, but we do have some lands out there. So there you go. So we know we can do regular peanuts. We know we can do, again, I would I personally would watch out the honey roasted while if I was in weight loss mode. But uh, we know that we can do like the Lance uh, flavored ones according to the website. So we should be good on that. All right, now, peanut butter. All right, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich today. Did anybody have a, did anybody join the peanut butter club today? Anybody have peanut butter today? 
I have been on this breakfast. Do what? Tomorrow's breakfast is P P B and J or half nope. P B and J. <laughs> All right. I've never had P B and J for breakfast. Uh, I like it with my carb master milk. Yum yum. Okay, well, there you go. I, I I enjoy peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't know why I've been on this kick. It's just like <laughs> I, I have it on Sunday morning. Now I just fix a sandwich. Uh, yeah, I guess I do have it for breakfast Sunday morning. And I'm driving over to the church, um, and then I had one today. So. So the thing about peanut butter, though, there's a danger here you need to watch out. And I know some of y'all know this. Do not use uh, peanut butters that have hydrogenated oils. All right. So don't use peanut butters that have hydrogenated oils and use really your safest with natural or organic peanut butters. The reason we don't want to use you to use those hydrogenated oils, you say, well, why do they even use that peanut butter? Well, that's those nasty trans fats. And the reason they put it, hydrogenated oils, it keeps, it holds everything together. It makes it stay longer. If you've noticed a natural peanut butter or organic peanut butter, you got the oil on the top. That's because it's not hydrogenated. So it separates and it doesn't have as long of a shelf life. People always ask me, what do I do with that oil? I just say, drink it. I'm teasing. Just stir it in the peanut butter, okay? All right, I hope somebody laughed. Ooh, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> just stir it in the peanut butter because when it's natural organic it's not hydrogenated so the oil separates so but it's better because we we as much as we can on shibboleth we want you to avoid those nasty trans fats so uh you're going to find those in cool whip and stuff like that so again this is just a way to avoid some of those so basically use natural and organic so let's go over to the website real quickly, because again, this is always, I, I want you to have this as your home base is the website. Now, uh, I'm gonna type in peanut butter here. And again, if you've watched Fast Track, you know this, if you haven't watched Fast Track or maybe you're somebody that's not in Shibboleth and you're checking it out tonight and uh, welcome by the way, because you will see that we use food from the grocery store. I want to show you one thing here. Uh, I typed in peanut butter. Let me get that to look for it. Oh, it's still spinning. Still looking for peanuts. So some days the squirrels are a little, they're getting tired by this time of night and it takes them a while to spin that the hamster wheel. And so they're a little slower pulling up things. So come on squirrels, you can do it. There you go, come on. Hey Jim, while that thing's spinning, I got a question about hydrogenized. Uh -huh. So I know you would prefer natural or organic peanut butter, but does hurt the, however you say it now. Hydrogenized. I Thank you. Uh, is it cause an insulin boost or is it just because it's higher calorie, more fat, trans fat, whatever? Yeah, the biggest thing is it's a trans fat and trans okay. fats have definitely been linked to stroke and heart disease and all sorts of nasty stuff. Okay, so, but it's not going to cause a weight. I mean, a, a sugar, uh, insulin issue, fat truck, fat bus. Right, right, right. As far as the fat bus, no, I, it, it, the biggest issue is just because of what it, the nat, bad health effects it has on your oh. body. Okay, all right, Again, just checking. You can't, you can't 100% avoid trans fats because there are some trans fats that occur naturally, but most of the trans fats, especially in prepackaged meals, foods like peanut butter are gonna be man-made trans fats and they're just nasty. So as much as we can avoid it, calorically, uh, probably the exact same on salary wise. So, so that's why we really want you. We're just trying to keep you as healthy as we can too. All okay. right, the, the rabbits have, the, they've, any other questions? All right, real quickly here. Now, some of y'all may or may not know this. We have this cool thing, the weight loss meter, negative three is our fastest, three is our slowest. Uh, let's just go down to negative threes and let's just see real quickly, hopefully the hamsters aren't going to be too tired or the squirrels or whatever out there running the internet tonight. They're not going to be too tired. And let's just see what we get if we have any negative three, uh, if we have any negative three peanut butters. We don't. So obviously peanut butter is not the fastest weight loss food at all. So again, you can still eat it. We still allow it. Let's go to negative two. Up, oh, we've got one. PB Fit peanut butter. And that's a powdered peanut butter. So let's go real quickly and just see if we can find that. 
and uh, PB Fit, and do they have that at Walmart? And the answer is yes. So Walmart has a PB Fit powdered peanut butter. So if you're now you say what why is it powdered? Well, what they do is they've extruded extruded uh, about 85% of the fat, and they basically what you do is it, you stir water in there. So don't use a lot of water because it gets really runny fast. Have y'all had uh, powdered peanut butters out there? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like powdered peanut butters. Um, so PB Fit is a really great one. And let's just see, it's a negative two. So as far as peanut butters, this is the best we can get on a peanut butter. You can add it to shakes. I've done that before as well. And uh, there's or recipes. The here's, here's a recipe, peanut butter cream cheese dip. So there you go. Hey, I just found it at Walmart too. So I'm gonna check mine, put that on there. So um, you can do that. Now, let me show you all one thing real quickly here tonight. Uh, oops, I'm sorry, didn't have the website turned on. So here, let me show you one thing real quickly for those who don't know, uh, if you're new, you can add this to your grocery list right there. Now I've created a grocery list called Walmart. So I just have a grocery list of things that I can get at Walmart. And so I've done that. So that's something really cool. And again, if you're not sure how to add a grocery list, go to fast track lap number four and Kim walks through how, cause you first, you got to create the grocery list and then you can have, you know, as we do these week after week, I'm going to have grocery lists for food line. Cause we're going to do food line one week, Publix one week. We're going to do uh, buy low. We're going to do Aldi next week's Kroger. So you can have a food list for each different grocery store of your favorite things. And again, if you love peanut butter, this kind of peanut butter, you can do that. All right. Any questions on that? Everybody see how that works. All right. Okay. So we can find that one at Walmart. Let's go back and let's see, that's our only negative two. So that's our fastest fat burner. Let's go to a negative one and let's see if we can expand our territory here as far as peanut butters. So we're going from a negative three to a negative one. Holy smokes, we've got a lot of peanut butters. Now, not all this is just straight peanut butter. You're gonna notice like here's an Atkins chocolate peanut butter bar. I had an Atkins chocolate coconut bar today for a snack, pretty decent. Uh, so some of these are bars, but some of these are peanut butters. So let's just take a look real quickly at Walmart. I'm gonna type in peanut butter just to see if we can find some of these. And the answer is we certainly can. So I wanna show you some of them. First of all, like I said, the best thing to do is let's start with natural or let's just start with organic. We'll start with organic. And again, there's all different levels of organic, but we'll start there. Actually, let me do this real quickly before I jump in to this. Uh, what was I looking for? Let me do something real quick. I wanna show you all one thing real quick before I jump into peanut butter. Not literally jump into peanut butter, although I wonder what that would be like, like jumping into a vat of peanut butter. Has anybody jumped into a vat of peanut butter? Sounds like, no. something you're doing. Sounds like something you do in like college. Be too <laughs> expensive. Um, what I wanted to show you was what the website said just about peanut butter. And I was trying to find it here. I should have just created a hyperlink to it. Uh, here it is, peanut butter, nut butter. So this is a general rule you need to know on peanut butter. It's a superfood, of course. Uh, just regular peanut butter. Any nut butter, so it can be peanut butter, it can be cashew nut butter, I don't have any, we can look at those tonight, it can be almond nut butter, it can be soy nut butter, any nut butter that does not have hydrogenated oils is approved. So if we go out here to organic, we've got all sorts of, here's a Santa Cruz organic, we've got a dry roasted crunchy, of course that would be approved because it's not hydrogenated. Um, this says organic. Um, so there you go. Um, Cause organic is basically gonna be usually just peanuts and peanuts, I guess. They don't put the hydrogenated oils there. If there are a lot of additives like chocolate, 
or flavoring, those need to be checked by Chabot team member for approval. But any basic peanut butters without hydrogenated oils are approved, whether they are listed in the library or not. The best nut, nut butters for weight loss would be high on protein, low on carb, or powdered nut butters, which we've already saw. So again, we can look, Walmart's got several things. Now I wanna show you all one thing here real quickly on Walmart that's a little, uh, it, one thing Walmart's website now shows is they always show what you can order from them. And so uh, I think somebody said something in the chat. Let me check on that. Uh, I need to drop off and get Jason's call. Thanks for the info. Okay, hey, thanks for joining us, Anita. One thing, if you do go online and you create your shopping list and you want to do locally, make sure you put free pickup today or if you do have it delivered. So here's some things I could go down to my local Walmart and get it. So Walmart's got their own version of it as well. Um, so you might check that out. Let's type in natural real quickly. Let's just see what else is over there, natural. So here we have Jif natural, peanut butter, Smucker's natural, Skippy natural, Smucker's again. You've got a Teddy, all natural. We've got Adams. Now some of these are things that they, they will ship in for you, um, but I'm gonna put the free pickup today. I don't know why it always goes back the other because they would just want me to order whatever off their website. Uh, here's Crazy Richards. I say, but Jim, that doesn't say natural. Let's take a look here, because I know Crazy Richards is on the website. Uh, Crazy Richards, 100% peanuts natural works. So that one does work. It just didn't say it in the label. Skippy natural. So we got, again, so a good rule of thumb, if you're going to the grocery store, is to look for the natural or organic peanut butters. Now, you might say, Jim, you know, what about, uh, does anybody eat flavored peanut butters or like honey roasted? Anybody like honey roasted? No, nobody. Nope, just plain peanut I'm butter. Like well, if you do like honey, <laughs> there's, a there's a couple of them here in our list and there's a Justin's and Walmart does typically have Justin's. I think I saw it today when I was over in the peanut butter aisle. So you can uh, get the Justin's honey peanut butter. It's somewhere in here, honey roasted. So that so, one works as well uh, for you. Just the plain, everybody gets just plain. Nobody gets anything. Well, let me, let me show you. Let I, me get show you. Do uh, I, I get the honey. I get the honey. You get the honey, okay. Let me show you one, if you want a flavored peanut butter, let me show you a peanut butter uh, that is flavored that we really, really like. If you want flavored peanut butter, uh, let me show you one that like that, that we really like here uh, once it pulls up. And I'm trying to put my hands on it real quickly. Uh, let me get that for you and we'll take a look at that one. Um, it is. I thought I, first of all, the peanut, the uh, powdered peanut butters on the website uh, are, you can do PB2 powdered peanut butter. Some of y'all have had that and they have a chocolate. So that's a real good peanut butter. Those are a negative one on the fat burning meter. The PB fit is a negative two. The PB powdered is a negative one on the fat burning meter. Um, so those are some, let's set the meter up here from a negative one to a zero. Let's just see if we get some others flavored. I was wanting to point out another one to you. Uh, there it is, I think it's what I was shooting for actually. Here's one, here's the one I was wanting to show you. So here's, if you want flavored ones, uh, they have a lot of different flavors. They have a chocolate, they have a low sodium, they have original and you can, Buy this uh, at Kroger. I think you have to order it, but it's another or Kroger. I say Kroger. I'm sorry. I shop there a lot um, more than I do Walmart because it's closer. But you can get this on Walmart uh, through their shipping 
But if you do want to do, here's what we love about this one. It is a lot lower in calories. I'm gonna show you one of them right here. What we love about these is, does anybody want to guess how much regular peanut butter is typically around two tablespoons? Anybody have an idea? 180. How much? 180. Nailed it, yes. 180, uh, sometimes 200, but typically most peanut butters are around 180 calories for two tablespoons serving. What we love about this peanut butter, now I, I have not had this one yet, so I need to have this one. I know Travis talks about it a lot. I need to, I just placed an order through our Shibola store, which should be here tomorrow, but I didn't buy any peanut butter, but I will the next time. Uh, this one only has a hundred calories for two tablespoons. So we love that. In fact, um, you can have two tablespoons of meal, one tablespoon as a snack. Uh, let's see, because it's lower in calories, you're allowed to have up to four tablespoons as a serving, although two is recommended. So you could go higher, I guess is what we're saying on these guys. So you can buy this, at, you can order it at Walmart, but let me say this, if you can, we'd appreciate it if you ordered it from us, because it certainly supports the ministry here at Shibboleth. And uh, if for some reason you don't wanna buy it from us and you see something like this in the food library where it says find it on Amazon, we'd love for you to click it that way because again, we get a couple pennies if you buy it from our website. So has anybody tried this one? I have not. I'm going to admit that one. I have not tried this particular brand. Anybody here tried this brand? No. Nobody. No. No, no. Okay. All right. Well, maybe that's a challenge. Try. Jennifer has, it looks like. Jennifer's tried. Okay. Did I miss her hand? Sorry about chat. That. All right. Jennifer's tried it. Do you like it? Did you like it, Jennifer? Oops. What did I do? Uh, I have, and it's really good. All right. Did you try a flavored one or just a um, a regular like peanut butter, like original, or did you do like a chocolate or I think, oh, you had regular, okay. So I believe they have, um, I know there's other flavors here. And uh, so let's see what we have in our store. We just have the original right now. So there you go. But that's that is a good negative one. So if you remember, most peanut butters that I showed you a minute ago are zeros, but this one is a negative one. So this is a pretty good uh, peanut butter. So um, there you go. All righty. Um, so if we go up to a screen zero, share, do what? Screen share. Screen share. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jim. Like I said, it's like flying a 747. Half the time I forget to click a button. Um, so I right now I put the uh, the meter on just zeros. This is if you're in weight loss mode, I really don't want you to go higher than zero right now if you're in weight loss mode. But this is where most of our peanut butters are gonna be. Um, here's a 365 Whole Foods peanut butter. That's not gonna be at Walmart. Earth Balance. Um, Am I really seeing Captain Crunch cereal on that list? I don't know. Are you? I think I am. <laughs> well, uh, is that going to make your day? Yeah, because that takes me back to my childhood. <laughs> well, let's see why we're there. It's not peanut butter, but no, Captain it's Crunch. <laughs> it's a perfect pairing item. That's another topic for another night. Uh, three quarters of a cup. <laughs> on the Captain Crunch. All Captain Crunch cereals work with, oh, here's our thing, international egg whites. Now, if you're not familiar with international egg whites, they are uh, triple pasteurized egg whites. We actually sell them in the Shibola store. They're triple pasteurized, so you're not gonna get salmonella and stuff like that. You can drink them raw. I mean, mm -hmm. lots of times you, yeah, you don't wanna do that with egg whites because of other uh, problems, but not with these. But you can actually, I've never had egg whites, liquid egg whites in my cereal. I don't have to pour them in my cereal, do I? Well, <laughs> you can drink it, I guess. It. But here's your, you can put it with your Kroger Carb Master milk. Okay, that I can do. <laughs> Bear Life fat free. Do not eat dry because they don't work dry. We need that extra protein boost. You can improve the nutrition of this meal by adding one tablespoon of hemp flakes. 
<laughs> All right, good old hemp flakes. I, I bought, I bought a hemp, I bought a couple hemp products this week. I haven't had hemp stuff in a while. What'd you say, Beth? I thought you were supposed to eat the hemp then the cereal. I thought that was the whole point. <laughs> it's not. It's not that kind of hemp. Oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get high from seeds. You can only get healthy. So these are hemp flakes from the seeds. <laughs> but yeah, you can sprinkle those on there. Hemp seeds are awesome. They're going to give you a lot of protein, a lot of fiber, good omega-3 fats, uh, great stuff there. But yes, yeah, so did I make your day, Beth? You can have Captain Crunch. Absolutely. I love Captain Crunch. <laughs> haven't had it in probably 15 years. <laughs> well, you, you might just for yucks. You might yeah. even... Type in cereal one time. Let's just see. And this is getting way off course. Sorry, this is an ADD. Moment. Sorry, my bad. I just. No, that's okay. That's here. what happens. I'm ADD, so I'm like, oh, dog. Let's go. Let's cat, squirrel, whatever. Let's just see, just for fun, because I love the look at look at. We got lots of cereal. Best cereals, AHS. We have those here at Shibboleth. Those are really high protein, super fat burning cereals. Oh yeah, good stuff here. Uh, special K's, a lot more special K's. Some of y'all who were on the other program, it was a lot more restrictive. Uh, so a lot more latitude here, but please click on it and uh, check it out here uh, as well. So um, for those who are like, what other programs are you talking about? Well, I'm the newest member of the Shibola team, although I've known Travis for 10 years and I used to be a weight loss coach for Travis many, many years ago. And then he launched Shibboleth and I launched Achieve Weight Loss and we have always been sister companies. And as of this month, we are merging together. So I'm back on the team for good. And uh, so there you go, if you're wanting to answer that question. All right, real quickly, some other things and we'll hop out of here. So yeah, check out those cereals. And here again, don't forget, you can add that to your thing, but you see a bunch of zeros. Jif Natural, that's gonna be at Walmart. Jif No Sugar Added is at Walmart as well. You can get that there. I've uh, looked on their website, Justin's. They have a classic, they have a honey. So you can find those at Walmart as well. And uh, let's see, uh, of course, regular peanut butter, Peter Pan's at Walmart, the natural, the uh, Simply Ground, I believe is there as well. Skippy uh, is at Walmart as well. Smart Balance and I know Smuckers are there as well. So. There you go. We have a lot of things that we can do at Walmart. All right, so I have a slide here I, I like to share uh, called Foolers. Real quickly, I just wanna share this with you as we round everything out. So I'm trying to keep these about 45 minutes. Of course, I'll hang around and talk. I don't have anything else to do, but um, be careful of, again, don't do the hydrogenate. So you might see creamy peanut butter. Now it's not gonna say on the front with heart killing trans fats, it's not gonna say that, but it's just gonna say creamy or smooth or chunky or extra chunky. Again, really you wanna do natural, organic or powdered peanut butters. So don't, don't fall into that trap. All right, so if you're watching on Shibola tonight or, and you've never been in Shibola, if you're checking out the program, uh, we're glad you're with us tonight or you watch this video later. As you can see, we are this, we are teaching, we, te we eat out of the grocery store. That's how I've kept my weight off for 10 years because I live a lifestyle. My lifestyle is built out of the grocery store and you can be here like Rhonda who has lost hundred pounds. And uh, so we're excited about her. And hey, I'm, I, I'm looking to have y'all at some point on those pictures before and after. Now, of course, we always ask for your permission, but I mean, every it's exciting every day, the development team's like, here's the picture going out tomorrow. Here's the picture going out tomorrow. And uh, of course I got pegged here this week. So, um, but I, I wanna see everybody in here. If you haven't, have a before and after. We, that just encourages folks, but that's solely up to you. We won't make anybody do that. All right, any questions tonight before we head out this evening? I have a question, Jim. Uh-huh. Um, you was asking us earlier if anybody's had any peanut butter uh, this th today as a meal. Well, actually, I normally do um, peanut butter crunch um, with um, 
I, I can't think of his name, but it's a protein bar. Robert Irvine? Guys, yes. Big Crunch. And um, is it a number three plus? Uh, that's, that's in a different category. Oh, it um, is. Yeah, because it's a meal replacement bar or it's going to be okay. a snack bar, depending on the size of the Robert Irvine. Let's just take a look out here on the website. Again, this is a good place to start. Here is the um, Robert Irvine Fit Crunch Baked Bar, any flavor. Did you have the big one, the 30 gram? No, or... I, I get, I start now to buy half bars. Okay, so you buy so the ones like, like at Walmart. 180 or 190 calories, yeah. Right, so they work beautifully as a snack. They're a wonderful bar there. And um, I have it for breakfast because normally if I open a big one, I don't have time to eat a whole thing. Yeah. Well, so, that they, they work. The that's thing. fine. If you want to have that for breakfast, I actually have one of these in my car just as a survival kit thing if I need one. Well, so, I keep them in my car anyway, but it's normally mm -hmm. for breakfast. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. I do fine. the same thing. I have a snack size for breakfast with some carb master milk. I do the same thing. Yeah. 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 And that's really more of a perfect pairing. Again, watch yeah. the yeah. milk you're having. Uh, but that that's a perfect pairing there. So it works beautifully together. Um, yeah. And again, we do sell Fit Crunch in our store, online store. So yeah. Uh, actually, that's what I have coming in tomorrow. Fit Crunch. I might even do a video. Look what I got. But yeah. uh, I got some Fit Crunch Hemp Bar. I haven't had a hemp bar in forever. I haven't and, either. Uh, yeah. So I bought a hemp bar. I got hemp snack. Uh, hmm. And then what else did I buy? Oh, my gosh. I can't remember. So I got something else, but I ordered some cookies. Okay. Good deal. Yeah. Great. So, yeah. I can't, geez, I wish I remember what else I bought. I'll have to look it up, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking forward to. I'm hoping to get in the next couple of weeks is my Fitbit. So yeah, that's, yeah, I'm getting ready for Fitbit time. So get that thing synced up to the website. All right. Any questions tonight before we head out? No. Norma, Pam, hey puppy. We've had two dogs join us tonight. We had this is Carly. Aww. Carly. Oh, hi, Carly. Aww, my little buddy. Hey. We had Toby earlier, right? Was that right? Right, right. Yeah. He's asleep right now. <laughs> yeah, my, my puppies are not in here right now. So Deborah, good to go out. Jennifer, Jim, yeah. Beth, Valerie, huh? Right, She's Whitney ready Beth. to go out. <laughs> oh, right. oh, 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 get the puppy kisses. Gotta go potty. <laughs> oh, yes, that's what, yeah, that's what my dogs do. I'm kissing you because I need to yeah, leave. I need to go. <laughs> and you won't be happy if you don't let me out. That's all so. right. <laughs> I'll see you later, Jim. All right, next Monday night, if you're interested, we're going to be at Kroger, and Bye. I believe we're doing Hi, category Beth. four meats. Look on, we'll have it posted online when we're uh, starting. But again, you can go, if you want to register for these, just a couple things uh, before I head out. You can go to, uh, you if you want a text alert, you can type the word uh, grocery tour. It's all one word to 31996. 31996. If you want a text alert every time I do a grocery store tour right now, they're Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays. If you go online, and by the way, if you want to see, because there's always classes going on, you can click on online webinars. Right here is upcoming live broadcasts. Of course, here's my next one coming up tomorrow morning. And okay, so we got category one. Okay, category one meets at Kroger on Monday coming up. And so you can, uh, and more of those will be coming up this week. We'll be getting the rest of the schedule loaded in for the month of February and March this week for my stuff. Or you can just go right here if you just want to see what I'm teaching. And again, this will be a lot, this will be loaded up a lot in the next probably 48 hours. Or what Travis has got coming up, our founder, uh, we're rolling out Shibboleth for kids. So if you if you know uh, families are like, oh, my kids, you know, they're getting overweight. I got it. What? Okay, we got some cool stuff, coloring books stuff like that for kids, uh, getting rave reviews. So you might want to check that out Saturday morning. Parents, uh, can, I, I better not speak. I don't, I think parents are free or something like that. So you ought to just check that details out. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble because I might say the wrong thing, but check that out. Uh, and then Jason's classes, Kim, she does fast track Sunday and Monday and anything we've recently recorded 
and my stuff will be in here as well. Also, if you are watching online and you are interested in Shibboleth, and if you want a deal, you can type in, whoops, uh, slimshibbydrjim.com. Slimshibby, say that one real fast. Slimshibbydrjim. Uh, if you could type that in and it, I have a special deal I can offer to you for 24 hours. So type that in and you can check that out. And if you guys know anybody that's interested, who's watching tonight, send them that link and, um, and they can sign up. There's a special 24 hour deal I can offer when you go through my link. All righty y'all. Anything else? No. Hey Jim, real quick. Uh huh. I tried the uh, Carb Master bread. Yes. What do you we think? Talked about. It's good. It actually is good, and it's very soft, like the Aunt Millie's. It's just not as thick, um, but it's actually cheaper and a bigger loaf, and it's very good. I, it, I got the wheat. It was good. Wow. I, I also both. I also tried it. I tried both the Aunt Millie's. Uh, carb one or whatever More. it's called and then the kroger carb master i liked both of them but i like the aunt millie's better you yeah like i do better. too yeah i do too but the kroger one's uh, enough cheaper <laughs> that it, it'll work <laughs> right well there it is yeah and i should i was just a kroger an hour and a half ago i should i didn't even think about <laughs> snagging a loaf and i looked at another bread that is apparently new bread but it was so much more expensive than my aunt millie's i just grabbed my aunt millie's off the line but i do need to try this i'm curious but you so we got one that both are like saying it's pretty good but you still like the aunt millie's better yeah the aunt millie's is it's thicker and it's even more soft than this bread but this bread is soft i think the aunt millie's also kind of has a little more of a sweet taste to it maybe yeah i know the Carb mat the Kroger Carb Master to me had a stronger wheat flavor. Yes, for sure. Yes, absolutely. The Aunt, the Aunt Millie's one kind of resembled the regular Aunt Millie's one taste wise, but it was thicker. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Huh. It would yeah. be interesting to look at the um, the ingredients and see what they did on that one, just to see why that you're saying it's more of a weedy taste. I'm just looking at it on the web, on Kroger's website, just to see if I can spot huh. anything in there. there. It actually has less fiber than the Aunt Millie's Carb Smart, um, but it has a, a stronger wheat taste. I don't know if there's any correlation there, but. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to look at the Aunt Millie's it's possible that they have, yeah, I don't know. Wait, which one would you say, Carb it's, Smart? Yeah, it's called Carb Smart. Yeah, I have not had that particular one. I just, I've had the, well, they've rebranded it to the Live Life or Life or. They have three different, they have a wheat, uh, a white, I think it is, and a, a seed. Yeah. I think it's called Live Carb Smart or something I like that. Yeah. I think that's the one I found at um, Meyer. Me too. I got it okay. at Meyer. It may okay, so they may not have it there at Kroger. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing it Kroger. I'd have to check out Meyer's. So yeah, I know. I, I know think I it was about five dollars a loaf. It is. Yeah. yeah. Sure. It's and I thought the Kroger one was. I thought the Kroger one was four fifty or five dollars. No, well, I live in Franklin and I just bought the Carb Smart at Kroger in Franklin for $3.29 and I paid $4.59 for the Aunt Millie's at Meyer. Okay. Wow. Okay. Because I, I think I paid like two something for the Aunt Millie's at Walmart, the 35. Yeah, this is the 30 calorie and it's got 11 grams of fiber plus three or four grams of protein on top of that. Yeah. Well, of course, the new breads and the smaller niche market, it's going to be higher on those. But uh, yeah. but there, if anybody's watching like, holy smokes, I'm not paying that much. You know, again, the 35 lines of Aunt Millie's and there's other breads that are not that as, ex as expensive. Right. So, I, I kind of switch in and out between the three now. Now that I have three right. different ones, I just kind of rotate in and out. So. And again, it's just an example that there's so much variety right so much variety you know there's no reason to get bored that's one thing i love about the shibboleth lifestyles there's always just so much to discover out there and uh so i'm going to buy that butter peanut better than 
um, my brain's gone out the window. Better and peanut butter. Yes, there you go. Better and butter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, next time I Better order from the store, I'm going to buy that one. Then you can eat twice as much. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy. All can you add, peanut, can you add um, bananas to that peanut butter sandwich? No, no. I wouldn't do that. No. <laughs> oh, darn. They had You're a banana. Taking away my banana. They put on there. Yeah, unless the website gives you an exception. Yeah. Could she have banana with the powdered peanut butter? Uh, I, I don't they believe took the so. Out? I don't, I don't, I would not recommend that. And I don't think you'll find that recommendation on the website. I, I think see. it's always dangerous to mix a antioxidant or energy carb, or some mm -hmm. dog known them as natural carbs with any sort of superfood or complete food. I think that's, yeah. Um, that's not a good combination. So, uh, and even the powdered peanut butters, they're low, they're a lot lower in calories, but they still, and they still have no carbs in them too. So I just think that's not a great combination. I was thinking of it as a fatty protein instead of a superfood. Right, yeah. now peanut butter, peanut butters are a superfood. So. Um, I think one of the better than peanut butter that you pulled up said they had a banana spread. I yeah, they do have right. a banana flavor. Yeah. And yeah. some of them have a banana flavor. And there's a few others out here that have some um, some um, different flavors, like I've seen an American Dream, any flavor. Angry Mills has hmm. any flavors caffeinated. You know, of course, that's probably going to have to be um, purchased somewhere. But peanut butter is a superfood in itself, uh, just regular peanut butter. So... Yeah, I would not do the banana. And there was a time when you could do those P28 bagels with a thin layer of peanut butter and a little bit of banana on it, but I don't, I think they're out of business. Hmm. I haven't heard from P28 in a long time. Yeah. So. All righty, y'all. Well, I'm going to let you go. Anything All else? Right, thank, you. thank you, Jim. All right. Thank you. Go out and get you some peanut butter. <laughs> Thanks, keep, Jim. keep it in the Bye. pantry. You never know when you're going to need it. Yep. Always have it in the pantry. There yep. you go. Yep. All right. Well, all right. Have a good night. All right. We'll either see you next week sometime. I'll be here Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday if you can't get it. All right. Time. See you next time. Bye. Good see night. you next time. Bye. Right. Bye. Have Bye. a perfect day. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.